So, this is going to be the ultimate shave off. You can also say that this is kind of like the battle of the semis, so to say, because I'm going to shave one side of my face with the Parker 55 SL Semi Slant and the other side of my face I'm going to shave with the Rockwell 6S on the highest setting. And yeah, so this is kind of like a battle between semi slant versus semi adjustable. So we will see how it goes. So let's get to it. So everything is ready and prepared. And my hair is kind of like growing like this. So the more it goes to the side, the more it grows sideways. And yeah, so this side of my face I'm going to shave with the Parker Semi Slant. And we will see how it goes. So I have like one week of growth. So you can tell how efficient this razor is. So that's that and yeah the, the blade is also looking out of the razor on the sides right here so that's where you also have to be careful not to cut yourself so but that's the same thing with um, with the Rockwell so now the other side so now Rockwell 6s on the highest setting it's kind of like a little bit, I don't know if it sounds louder. And this is really the way how my hair grows. And I do have to say the first pass is always a blast with both of these razors. Because they are, they feel very mild, but they are also very efficient as you can tell. First pass done. And I'm usually somebody who only does two passes, one with the grain, one against the grain, especially with, with razors that are that efficient. Um, hmm. don't know if I can tell a difference yet. So let's just rinse. So I have decided to make a short um, across the grain just to be on the safe side, but usually mm, so you can see there is a little nick right there from the Parker. And I do have the feeling the Rockwell makes it a little bit more easy to find the right angle. So now for the final pass against the green. When it comes to both razors, I do have to say um, the Parker definitely feels more aggressive, especially against the grain. But yeah, from the feel, I mean, both razors are capable of giving you pretty much the same close BBS shave. So um, yeah, I mean, the Parker just as close as the Rockwell. Very nice, very smooth. It doesn't really look that smooth, by the way, because I have very thick and very dark beard hair, so there is always kind of like a shadow going on. But, you know, if I go against the grain, it feels BBS. I mean, yeah. Um, with the Parker, I'm still not sure how to use it, basically, because um, usually people say that you should start like this and then start making the angle smaller until it starts to cut. But I have the feeling that I cut myself more when I do this. Instead, I'm trying to 
to go like this. I don't know. I mean, it is kind of difficult with this one to find the right angle. Uh, some people suggested that you should use like the edge right here of the cap. You know, kind of like this. But I don't know if I should really, if I'm really convinced by that. When it comes to the rock well, on the other hand, you can see that, um, what is it called? It's not a comb, um, the safety bar. So you can see that this thing is shaped kind of like, you know, like in a triangle, almost in a 35 or 45 degree angle. So finding the right angle with this razor is very easy because all you have to do is to make sure that this edge right here is kind of like totally vertical and then you have the right end the right angle when you shave so yeah but as you can tell both razors pretty much the same result pretty much the same effort so the question is, which one would I recommend? I mean, definitely the Rockwell because it's semi-adjustable and stainless steel. But the Parker is also a very good razor because it's cheaper, or let's just say less expensive, because it's not adjustable and it's also not stainless steel. But it still is very efficient and not too aggressive. I mean, I had razors that felt way more aggressive, you know, like open comb razors and stuff like that. So, yeah, the thing is, mm, the Rockwell, more expensive, but stainless steel and semi-adjustable. The Parker, not adjustable, no stainless steel, but less expensive. The result, pretty much the same. Yeah, I don't, it's hard to decide, but I just wanted to make this video probably to show you that, yes, there are razors out there that are less expensive than the Rockwell, but who are capable of giving you the same BBS shave. And that's what the Parker does. Um, when it comes to the shaving cream that I have been using, Spike shaving cream, um, it was kind of like a one-time thing. I mean, it was the first and only time that I bought this shaving cream because I was curious, but I'm not going to buy it again. Not because it's a bad shaving cream, it's a really good shaving cream, but I, yeah, it, it contains palm oil and that's something that I always try to avoid as much as I can. So after I am finished with this, I'm definitely going back to the spike shaving stick because it doesn't contain palm oil and it's longer lasting than shaving cream obviously and by the way I just wanted to mention you can probably tell that I also started shaving my head that's where I definitely use the Parker semi slant I don't know if it's the longer angle uh, the longer handle or if it's because of the way how the uh, the safety bar or the comb is shaped but it just makes it a lot easier to shave my head compared to the Rockwell because yeah I don't know the Rockwell just doesn't seem like the perfect razor for shaving my head maybe it's also due to the higher weight but yeah when it comes to shaving my head the Parker 55 SL semi slant is definitely my choice um, because yeah it just works well so I haven't shaved my head yet by the way I I'm going to do that later on so yeah that's it I hope you liked this video I hope it was informative thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next random video bye